What's up? This is Quark2448. We're a following Slater 17 view. Today we'll be doing some multiplayer snow plowing here on the mowing map. Yep, if you come out of the first garage, we will be using this gator and ATV to plow out our neighbors and ourselves. We'll be using both trucks to plow out some different properties here on the map. One of them is a Ram 2500 and the other is a GMC 2500. Both do have diesel engines. So let's hop in these over here and let's plow out our driveway. As you guys can see, we just got a snowstorm overnight and we do got to go plowing out here. And I thought it would be a very cool thing to do it here on the mowing map. So drop your plows down and let's get started off. We both have six foot fisher plows. You do have to kind of go first just because of how we are positioned here and then uh you yeah so i just turned my beacon light on and i think that tracked atv will be very interesting to use uh one of the first times using one of those for snow plowing how is that pushing the snow uh seems to be having a bit of trouble right now i would recommend There's taking some snow. smaller passes I'm going to try and push some of it off. Yeah. As you guys can see, this gator is doing a pretty good jo job so far. I'm very excited that we are here in multiplayer. I will be doing a lot more multiplayer videos to come here on the channel. And I think it's a very cool thing, kind of switching it up from just the trucks to all of these other things that we do here snow plowing. And this gator is a very cool one, and we do use it actually for the fire rescue series. There's a lot of snow out today. There's so much. Yep, and I don't think the town plows came by yet. Having two people really does kind of help speed up the entire process of snow plowing. And I really do like the skater with that one beacon light up top. Where you are right now, there's a section that is not plowable. Yep. Alright, so we'll be, we'll be kind of making our way over there, kind of cleaning up the gate area, and then we'll be kind of switching over to plow out our neighbor, which is a very nice thing of us. We do have some pretty loud sport cars and a lot of busy uh, people coming through our house, so it's nice to kind of uh, do their driveways. Wow, looks like you're really getting some great traction with that. Awesome, so let's kind of head over here to the neighbor's house. Whoa, looks like I'm losing a little bit of traction there, but wow, this gator is still doing a pretty good job. If you guys would like to see more multiplayer snow plowing videos here on the channel, let me know down below in the comments. We've done quite a few snow plowing videos, and we will be doing some other ones also. But take a look at that, guys. We already plowed out this one, which is nice. So let's kind of back up, and we'll be heading over to the next one. Do you think the tracks are helping with the traction wise? I definitely think so because I didn't think I was going to have enough power to plow this snow but I really haven't had an issue because I think I'm just grabbing so much traction that you see the power of the traction but I haven't had an issue but yeah it looks like I am just a little bit traction wise and wow take a look that very close to that garage but I did do a pretty good job of not hitting that and wow these Fisher snow plows are also great so if you do just want to kind of clean up that area right over there I will do this last pass and then we'll be hopping in our diesel trucks Awesome, so that's it. We'll kind of angle. You do want to drive with them straight just because they will pretty much clear just the pass as we do drive, which is not too realistic. But I'm very excited to be back here snow plowing. It's a pretty exciting thing. We wait all year long to do snow plowing for the winter season. All right, let's park these up and we'll warm up our trucks and head out. This is, a, this is a tight squeeze, but I think I can do it. Yep, I did park pretty close to the wall, so I will kind of get both of these trucks warming up. That way, uh, it's going to be ready for us. And as you guys can see, he will be using the GMC 2500 HD Duramax with the 9-foot boss straight blade. And I will be using the Ram 2500 with a Blizzard Snowplow 9-foot long also. So we'll kind of, uh, if you just want to pull the truck out, then close the door. That way we can keep some of the heat in once we turn it back on. 
Alright, we're going to turn around here, and I really do like both of these trucks. These are new trucks, and I'm very excited to do some plowing with here. And I just put the snow plows on all of them. So if you do want to lift up the plow blade, and we'll kind of head out here. And I think we'll do a few uh, residential houses, and then we'll go do a few commercial ones also. So there is a pretty big pile here. You do not want to drive over that, so just kind of avoid that uh, snow pile. Go right around it. And I think for houses, we'll probably take a right. So we'll be taking this right we do appreciate all of the support here on the continued videos you guys are awesome with all of the positive feedback and support so if you want to do this one right over here to the left i will be doing the one right next door okay. just push the snow past the uh, carport area So it looks like this driveway is actually on the other side, so we'll have to come over here. Hopefully we could get some uh, views of him also kind of plowing, which should be a very cool thing. I might add that in, so let me know guys, should I have him kind of be on the second corner of my screen, like a small little rectangle of him plowing, so let me know if we should do that from his perspective. I think that would be a pretty cool thing, what do you think? I like the idea because it's, it's really nice to see other people helping out too. When you when you are snow plowing. Yep. As you guys can see, I was able to do that. Looks like he is just about finished with his, which is nice. And then we will actually be plowing out the country club. This is a giant property. A lot of snow we do got to remove. So we'll definitely get started off here. And it's perfect though. We have two people, two plow trucks, and they are both very strong, powerful trucks. Yeah, I really love this truck. It's very detailed. And I've always loved Duramaxes, so... Yep, Duramaxes are great pickup truck engines. Now, as we do plow, you will be missing a few spots, and then we'll just have to kind of redo uh, the pass, which is okay. But, I mean, this is a very large area. There's parking on that side, so if you keep turning, there's a big parking lot over there also that does have to be plowed out. This truck does not have a first person view, or else we pretty much would be using that. I really do like kind of changing up the views, and I'm skidding just a little bit trying to get some traction. There's a lot of snow in here. Yeah, it looks to be just around like a foot. And that's nothing for any of these trucks, which is a big bonus for us having very strong trucks. So how's that Duramax performing? It's doing really well. I think I did get a little, had a little issues with too much snow, but since I tilted the plow, it seems to be handling a lot better. Yeah, once you do angle the plow, you do kind of throw some of it away, and then it's not a big pile. And I think that this most likely will be the last property. We do want to do a pretty good job at it. And I mean, very busy day. We did a lot so far. It's very hard to read where the lines was. I really wish the owner of this place really put out sticks. Yeah, having the markers is very helpful. And I think I will be adding that to the new map I am building. I will definitely be doing a snow version and I have those markers out. Yeah, you do just have to kind of just go along, and if you do see the grass, you do have to stop. That's how I've been kind of doing here in all of the different maps I do plow with. But I really do enjoy giving you guys multiplayer videos. This is a bit of a change from my single player, but it's a lot of fun doing it uh, with other people helping out. Yeah, I really love enjoying helping out. Yeah, it's a Plowing. lot of fun having you uh, help out also. As you guys can see, when I do come over here to the grass, I do lift up the plow blade so we do not remove any of the grass, dig it up, because we definitely do not want to have to come back and repair and probably pay for the damage that we did cause. But it, having those markers would be very helpful. How's that boss 8-foot uh, plow coming along over there? It's working very well. Yeah, Probably I think one of my next up we'll be getting V plows. It looks like we just about finished here, which is awesome.
Yeah, I think we did a really good job. Yeah, it came out really good so far. I'm just trying to clean up over here. I actually just found some parking spot lines, so it's a good thing that I uh, did not kind of miss this. I'm really making sure I opened up the entire parking lot. Yeah, we do not want to miss any sections, especially since this place does get pretty busy. Someone could get injured. Yep, we do have to make sure it's scraped down all the way to ice. And I actually did forget to install a sander on this truck, so I will definitely have to kind of get more trucks with sanders to keep it realistic where we do have to sand and salt. So I'm just going to kind of widen up this opening as you kind of continue over there. We do want this as open and wide as possible. Wow, your section came out really good. Yep, I'm right behind you. Yeah, I'm just trying to kind of widen up the entrance and then I uh, think we'll be kind of headed home for the day. Diesel trucks do have a lot of power, which are perfect. And I mean, they are just very strong trucks pushing. I mean, uh, this is just around a foot of snow and we are plowing it with no problem. Yeah. As you guys can see, I really did widen up this opening. We'll do it a little bit over here to the other side. Then I think we'll kind of uh, head back and call it a day. All right, are you ready to head back? Almost. Awesome. So I'm just going to kind of come around, just double check. I believe that there is actually a little door opening over here. So I would definitely actually I'll come around here, try to plow just a little bit more, get this little area. But I believe that this is grass. We'll just plow it even if it is. Actually, no, it is uh, asphalt. So good thing that I kind of saw this and came back. Let us know down below in the comments, guys, would you guys like us to do some plowing at night? Sometimes the plow truck drivers do have to go out to prepare the roads for the morning, and I think that would be a perfect thing to do. Yeah, I think that'd be really fun for a nice change. Yeah, especially uh, kind of going around the challenge of night, not seeing exactly everything. So I think we'll probably do that in multiplayer next. I think. So let us know down below in the comments, guys. Would you guys like us to do that? I am just trying to plow out this walkway just a little bit. But I think I'm all set over here. Yep, I'm all set also. So let's kind of head back. Looks like I'm actually kind of caught here on the building. Doing a little bit of maneuvering to kind of get a little bit further away from the building. But wow, that Duramax looks awesome with that plow on it. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah, I'm a fan of the Duramaxes and the Power Stroke engines. They're pretty nice, but this Cummins also did a really good job today. As you guys can see, that's the property he plowed out. Came out really good, and that patch is because this map is not seasons ready, but it still does a pretty good job, and the majority of the areas are plowable, which is a big bonus to us. So I think we'll kind of park up these trucks, and then we'll call it a day. All right. We're arriving back here at the house, and I really do like this three-car garage. We fit a lot in it today with uh, both of those in both these trucks. Yeah, it's a large three-car garage. Yep. Yeah, once you do back in, I will get your door for you. And then you just want to lower down the plow and turn the Duramax off. Awesome, so we got both trucks parked in here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And subscribe for more.